The celebration of Easter is hugely important in the Christian faith and it was marked today at special services around the world. As her sons and granddaughters arrived on foot for the traditional Easter service at Windsor Castle, the Queen instead arrived by car. After the service in St George's Chapel, Her Majesty, looking well after a difficult month spent recovering from gastroenteritis, paused to meet her well-wishers. As the Queen, the head of the Church of England, was in Windsor, her most senior bishop was taking his first Easter service in Canterbury. Justin Welby used the occasion to warn against harbouring false hopes of putting too much faith in hero leaders, and he laughed off suggestions that he could resolve the problems in the Church of England. For the Catholic faith, the focus was on the Vatican. Thousands gathered in St Peter's Square to see Pope Francis deliver his first Easter service. Mass was followed by a brief drive through the crowds, blessing several young children before the new Pope made his address. It's become traditional that the pontiff uses this speech as a call for peace. Pope Francis continued that tradition. He mentioned the Middle East, particularly Israel and Palestine. He spoke of peace for Mali, Nigeria, Korea and Iraq. And above all, he says, for dear Syria, for its people torn by conflict and for the many refugees who await help and comfort. But before he can tackle world peace, he may have to concentrate on matters closer to home. There are many problems within the Catholic Church that will require much of his attention. Fraser Maud, Sky News.